welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very basic adult beanie. Knowing how to make a very basic adult beanie, you can manipulate it however you want to make it. If you want to add a pom-pom, two pom-poms. If you want to have ear flaps, no ear flaps, braids, how long you want the braids, and then colors. Are you going to make this beanie sports themed? Are you going to just choose somebody's favorite colors? You want to do solid? striped. The options are endless just by knowing how to make a very basic shaped beanie. I'm actually going to refer back to this video quite often in some upcoming tutorials because I use this basic beanie shape for all of my animal themed beanies, uh, regular themed beanies, prop beanies. This is the beginning start of all those beanies and then with those videos I'll just show you how to add the external pieces that I add on to the beanie. Sound good? The materials that you're going to need are very, very basic. My favorite yarn to use for a beanie is Vanna's Choice Yarn, or I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. They have a very similar texture to them. They're just my favorites to use, but really a size four weighted yarn is going to be the way to go. Just feel the yarn. If it's a yarn that you really like, feel it, again, you're Feel it against your skin. Is it something that you find comfortable? Go with that, okay? Size four. Uh, the amount of yarn you're gonna need, I was able to make this adult size beanie, including the ear flaps and the braids with one skein of Vanish Choice yarn with this much to spare. So one skein of the Vanish Choice yarn is approximately, it's approximately 145 yards or 133 meters. So that'll give you a rough estimate on how much yarn that I use to make this basic beanie. Um, you're gonna need a size H crochet hook or eight slash 5.00 millimeter crochet hook. And when it comes to weaving in your ends, again, I'm gonna let that be completely up to you. If you need any ideas, feel free to watch my video on how to join yarn and weave ends to get some more ideas if what you are using right now is not working for you. Sound good? All right, let's go ahead and dive right into how to make this super simple, basic adult beanie. Um, the beanie is gonna start at the top and work its way down. It's gonna be worked in a circular fashion. So when you begin, you can either start with a magic ring or you can start with the chain two method. I prefer the chain two method, uh, but if you prefer the magic ring, you can absolutely start with that. So taking a very small tail, going to create my slip knot. Great. Okay, so here you'd either make your magic ring or your chain two. I'm going to just chain two, one, two, perfect. And you're going to put 11 double crochets inside the first chain or inside the magic ring, 11 of them. So yarn over, insert your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through, one double crochet, two, three, 11, great. Okay, go ahead and slip stitch in the very top of the very first double crochet, right there. Perfect, and that closes our first round. Round one is done. Moving on to round two, we're going to chain two. So one, two, and you're going to increase double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Or basically what that means is you're going to put two double crochets in each stitch all the way around. You will end round two with 22 double crochets. So yarning over, very first stitch right here that we stitched into, we're going to put two double crochets. The first chain two does not count as a double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 21, and 22. Uh, keeping count will be helpful to make sure that you're making the beanie the correct size and staying on track. So just wanted to give you a count. 
Okay, gonna slip stitch in the very first double crochet to close round two. Perfect. Moving on to round three, we're gonna chain two. One, two. In round three, you're going to put two double crochet in the first stitch and one double crochet in the second stitch and then repeat the pattern. Two double crochet, one double crochet. Two double crochet, one double crochet. All the way around, you will finish round three with 33 double crochets, okay? So putting two double crochets in the very first stitch that we slipped stitched into. So one, two, and then one. One, two, one. 32 and 33, great, okay? Slip stitching to close round three, perfect. Round four, we're chaining two, one, two. In round four, we're gonna put two double crochets in the first stitch and then one double crochet, one double crochet. And then two, one, one, two, one, one all the way around, we're gonna repeat that pattern. We're going to end round four with 44 double crochets. You ready? One, two, one, one. One, two, one, one, there you go, 43 and 44. Perfect, okay, slip stitching to close row four. With row five, we're going to chain two. Always starting a new row, we're gonna chain two to begin. But with row five, we start a different count. We're going to increase double crochet in the first stitch and then put one double crochet in the next 10 stitches. Okay, and that's going to be the new repeating pattern. So two double crochet, and then one double crochet in the next 10, and then two double crochet, and then one double crochet in the next 10. You're going to end round five with 48 double crochets. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. One, two in the first stitch, and then one stitch in the next 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Okay, then we're going to increase double crochet or put two double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, and then one double crochet in the next 10 stitches, and repeat. 47 and 48, perfect. All right, slip stitch to close row five, round five, chaining two, one, two. Round six, we are going to continue to increase. We're going to put two double crochets in the first stitch and then one double crochet in the next 11 stitches. And that'll be the new repeating pattern. So two double crochet and then one double crochet in the next 11. And then two double crochet and then one double crochet in the next 11. You will end round six with 52 double crochets. So starting with two, one, two, and then 11. One, two, 51, and 52. Great, slip stitching to close off row six, round six, chaining two, one, two. With round seven, guys, we are going to continue increasing two double crochet in the first, and then one double crochet in the next 12 stitches, and then repeat. Two double crochet, one double crochet in the next 12, then two double crochet, 
one double crochet in the next 12. You're gonna end round seven with 56 double crochets. So two, one, two, and then one in the next 12. 55, 56, great guys. Okay, slip stitch to close. Round seven, we're gonna chain two, one, two. For round eight, we are still increasing. We're going to put two double crochet in the first and then one double crochet in the next 13 stitches. And that's the new repeating pattern. Uh, two double crochet, one double crochet in the next 13. Two double crochet, one up, double crochet in the next 13. Repeating that all the way around the beanie, you will end round eight with 60 double crochets. All right, here we go. Two, so one, two, and then one double crochet in the next 13. 59 and 60, perfect. Slip stitching to close round eight. Chaining two, one, two. Round nine, guys, we're still increasing. We're going to put two double crochet in the first and then one double crochet in the next 14 stitches. And that's the new repeating pattern. So two double crochet, then one double crochet in the next 14. Two double crochet, then one double crochet in the next 14. You're going to end round nine with 64 double crochets, okay? So let's go. One, two, 63, and 64. Perfect. Slip stitching to close round nine. Chaining two, one, two. With the adult beanie, we only increase one more row. So row 10 or round 10 that we are on right now is our last increasing row. We're going to put two double crochets in the first stitch and then one double crochet in the next 15 stitches. And that's the new repeating pattern. So two double crochet, then one double crochet in the next 15. And then two double crochet, one double crochet in the next 15. You're gonna end round 10 with 68 double crochets. Here we go. One, two, and then 15. One, 67, 68. Great, okay, slip stitching to close up round 10. Perfect, okay guys, we are done expanding our beanie, we are now at the point where we are just going to grow the length of the body of the beanie. For round 11 through round 16, you're just going to chain two and put one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. That's all you're doing, guys. For round 11 through round 16, you're going to end each row or each round with 68 double crochets. So if you wanna take the opportunity now to start counting how many double crochets are in your round, just to make sure you are staying on count, this is the perfect opportunity. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go and meet you at the end of round 16 where we can move on to the ear flaps. Okay, we have just finished round 16. If you do not wanna add the ear flaps to your beanie, you can literally just grab your scissors, cut off your yarn, tie it out and weave in your end and your beanie is done. You are finished with your basic adult beanie. If you do wanna do the ear flaps, all you're gonna to have to do for the adult beanie is do not cut your yarn. We're gonna continue on with the same color unless you want your ear flap color to be different. You're just going to chain one in the same stitch that you slip stitched into. You're going to single crochet and you're going to make a total of 12 single crochets along the side of your beanie. So that is one, two, three, 11, 12. Perfect, chain one. Turn your beanie around so now you are looking at the inside of the beanie. You're going to decrease single crochet in the first two spaces. So insert your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through. Next stitch, insert your crochet hook, 
yarn over, pull through. Got three loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over, pull through all three. Going to single crochet in the next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then decrease the last two stitches. Perfect. Chain one, turning our work. Whenever you're looking at the outside of the beanie, you're going to put one single crochet in each stitch across. When you turn to look on the inside of the beanie, you're going to decrease the first two and the last two stitches. That's going to be the repeating pattern to uh, taper off the ear flap. So because we're looking at the outside of the beanie, we're just putting one single crochet in each stitch across, 10, chaining one, turning our work. Again, we're looking at the inside of our beanie, so we're going to decrease the first two stitches. and then decrease the last two stitches. All right, chaining one, turning our work. We are looking at the outside of the beanie, so we're just putting one single crochet in each stitch across. Should be a total of eight stitches. Chaining one, turning our work, decrease the first two, Single crochet in the next four. One, two, three, four. Decrease in the last two stitches. Chaining one, turning our work. We're on the outside of the beanie, so one single crochet in each stitch. Chain one, turn, looking at the inside of the beanie, decrease the first two stitches, single crochet in the next two, one, two, decrease the last two stitches, chaining one, turning our work, outside of the beanie, so we are single crocheting in all four stitches. Chaining one, looking at the inside of the beanie, going to be decrease and then decrease. So one decrease, one decrease, chaining one. And with these being the last two stitches on the outside, you're just going to decrease those two together to give it that mountain shape. And that's it. Go ahead and grab your scissors. We're going to cut off a tail so we can weave that end in or just have it be overlapped by our outside border that we're going to put on the beanie. Slip knot to close that off. Okay, the one common question is where do I put the other ear flap for the beanie? So I follow You'll see on your beanie that you have this line that has occurred. I'm gonna keep that at the back of the beanie. And, oh, turn it this way. So I have the line towards the back. This is gonna be the front of the beanie. You want the ear flaps to be closer to each other on the back, so you want this part to be shorter than this part. This part right here, is going to be, you want much longer than this part, okay? It's really an eyeball thing. You could put it anywhere you want as long as this ear flap, there's a shorter space here, longer space here. You're gonna be golden, okay? Go ahead and grab our yarn, small tail, make a slip knot. Perfect. Okay, we're going to attach our yarn 
looking to see where this would attach on that side. So I'm gonna insert and I'm gonna slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through, pull that loop all the way through the loop on my hook to attach the yarn. I'm gonna chain one, single crochet in that same stitch right there. And we're gonna make a total of 12 single crochets. So that's one, two, 12, chain one, turning our work. We're looking at the inside of the beanie. So that means we're going to decrease the first two stitches and the last two stitches. Decrease the last two stitches. Chain one and turn. And we're repeating the exact same process we did with the other ear flap guys. If we're looking at the outside of the beanie, we're just putting one single crochet in each stitch across, okay? If we are looking at the inside of the beanie, we are going to decrease the first two stitches, single crochet across, decrease the last two stitches, okay? And again, with that very last two rows, once you reach the point where it's a decrease, decrease, you turn and you just put one decrease to finish it off. So go ahead and continue this other ear flap. If you do need more instruction on finishing the second ear flap, feel free to refer back to the first ear flap. They're done the exact same way, guys. Um, and I will meet you at the very end of this ear flap to show you what to do next. Okay, just finished our second ear flap. Going to grab our scissors, cut off that extra yarn, yarn over, pull through, make that slip knot. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make my border to go around the entire beanie in a secondary color just to show you that option and where I attach the yarn when I do so. Uh, I would definitely recommend you putting a border around the beanie just to clean up the edges of the ear flaps if you're doing that. It just gives a very clean finished look. I'm going to give myself just a regular tail, small tails, long enough to weave in my end when I'm ready to clean up the project, get that on my crochet hook. Okay, where I attach this yarn, looking at the beanie, I'm going to attach my border at the very back of the back of the beanie right next to the ear flap. Okay, so if I'm looking at the back of the beanie, the smaller side of the beanie, I'm going to attach on the right side next to the right ear flap right there. Okay, so insert my crochet hook, slip stitch, Perfect. Chain one. And all I am doing, guys, is putting one single crochet in each stitch all the way around the entire beanie. Um, I will go ahead and work with you on the ear flaps. At the end of the ear flap, at the point of the ear flap, I put four single crochets at the tip of that ear flap to make a really nice curved, smooth look. Okay, but I'll do that with you. If you wanted to get ahead of me, work faster than I'm working, just wanted to let you know what to expect. So single crochet in that same stitch we slip stitched into and one single crochet in each stitch across. Okay, when coming upon that next ear flap, guys, I'm going to see that this stitch right here is the very first row of our ear flap. So I'm going to go in that one. Next row, one single crochet, crochet in the side of that one. Next row, one single crochet in the side of that one. Next row, one single crochet. And by following the rows, you'll be able to avoid either missing a stitch and having it bunch on you and you'll be able to avoid overcrowding and having the crochet stitches separate on you. Okay, 
last stitch here, I actually put four in that corner. So one, four single crochets, two, three, four. And that just provides a really nice smooth turn. And then I continue on to this side following the rows. Perfect, okay, I have now met up with my work. I'm going to single crochet in that space right there to attach to the actual beanie itself, not the ear flap, and continue on. And you'll repeat the same process for the second ear flap. Okay, once you have reached the end, all you have to do is slip stitch into the top of the very first single crochet. Boom, just like that. Grab your scissors, give yourself a long tail to weave in your ends, yarn over, pull through. And all you have to do guys is just weave in that tail to finish off the look of that beanie. Now you have your other option. You can either finish here and be done or you can give yourself some braids to hang off of your ear flaps, which look really, really cool. If you want to do the braids option, all you have to do, oh, here, I'll put it, I'll put it right here. Grab a tape measure, okay? Grab the yarn that you want to use, the color of yarn you want to use for your braids to put, to hang off of your ear flaps. And I make my yarn, I make my strips 18 inches long. So laying it loosely on the measuring tape so it doesn't go, you don't pull tight and then it recoils and it recoils way shorter. You want it to lay loosely on your measuring tape, 18 inches. All right, cutting right there. I make six 18 inch strips per ear flap. So a total of 12 18 inch strips for the braids for both braids. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out 12 real quick. Okay, I have my two groups of six 18 inch long st strips. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to take my crochet hook that I used to make the beanie with, go from the inside out of that last stitch there that all four of those single crochets were put in. Go ahead and grab the strips. Make sure that the hook has really got them. Pull them through. Okay. Take your two fingers and pull those strings through and gently glide to give it a very smooth look. Perfect. Let's do the same thing on the other side, guys, for the other ear flap. Taking our other strips, folding them in half, grabbing our crochet hook from the inside out, grabbing the yarn, pulling that through, okay. taking our two fingers, Grabbing them, slowly feed. Perfect, okay. So now we have our yarn braids in our ear flaps. I do sections of four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four and there'll be four strings in the middle. So each section should have four strings. I'll usually put something heavy on the beanie or I'll hold the beanies flat somehow. And I will just start braiding, start weaving. You don't want a really tight braid. Leave it loose because it just looks better. It's more appealing.
as far down as you can go. Okay, so I went down as far as I could go, and I'm going to take the ends, and I'm going to loop them around my two fingers, and tuck them under for a knot, and knot the end right there. Pull it, and as I'm pulling it, I'm also going to pull it to the bottom, so I can control where the, the knot is actually setting. I want the knot as close to the bottom as I can get it. Pull individual strands. If, oh, there it is. I was wondering where it was. Okay, perfect. Okay, there is my braid, guys. Super pretty. To clean it up, I'm just going to put all of the strands together, get my scissors, and cut them so that they're all kind of a uniform length and they look very clean. And that's it. You'll do the same exact thing to the other side, guys, and then your beanie, other than cleaning up your ends, your beanie's done. You are finished. All right, guys, so here's the beanie that we just made together. I'm gonna put it on. Perfect, okay. So, an observation, it is not a skull cap beanie. It is a very roomy, uh, baggier beanie very comfortable. I really appreciate that it's not a skull cap because a complaint that I had from a lot of adults is a beanie being tight and constricting can cause headaches. Um, I can also tell with it being so roomy that it has stretch, it has give still. Uh, another complaint from a lot of adults were, were that my head is too big and my I don't fit in beanies or I have so much hair, my hair has so much volume that it's a problem with beanies. I can see this, this beanie working for those people, absolutely. I'm not going to make a generalized statement and say it will work because everybody's different, everybody feels a certain way, but um, I really think that this fit for most adults and teenagers is going to be perfect, fit very, very comfortably. And I love the aspect that you can still add pom-poms, you can still change it up, and it's very versatile. Thank you so much for watching today. I really hope that you liked this video. If you did, please push the thumbs up button. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I release two brand new videos every single week and you're not gonna wanna miss out. I cover a wide range of different types of projects and it's a lot of fun. If you liked this video, you might also really like these other videos right here and also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope you had fun. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye, guys.